Good morning! Today we'll have a look at the new CineCamera Rig Rail, which is a new feature in Unreal Engine 5.3, which you can use to create some really cool and smooth camera animations for your cinematic renders. So here we are in Unreal Engine 5.3 after the new update. This is a very simple scene I've set up. Uh, using a Volvo S90 Recharge uh, created by Laser Car on Sketchfab, so a big shout out thanks to him for the model. And then the background consists of the automatic bridge scene from Epic Games. So let's start by creating a camera, which I already have done here. And let's jump into the camera view. So let's say for example that we want to create like a curved animation here. How will we go about doing this? Well, you could either keyframe the location of the camera and create like a circular animation that way. However, it would probably be a bit cumbersome. So it's a lot easier to use the new Cine Camera Rig Rail. So in the scene, we also have this Aria Alexa 35 Focus Tracker. This is an empty actor, which I'm going to use uh, later in this video. So you can just create a new actor in the Place Actors panel and then rename it to Focus Tracker or whatever you want here. I'll show you its purpose uh, in just a bit. So I'm just going to place it in the middle of the car here. And then let's create a new Cine Camera Rig Rail here. As you can see, this looks very similar to the other Rig Rail. However, this has new features, which we're going to use today. So first I'm just going to place the track down and draw a spline here. using the handles to create like a curve. And it doesn't have to be perfect because perfect in CGI equals unrealistic. So you want like a slightly uneven track to have it look more realistic. You can probably already see one of the new features, which is a heat map that visualizes your speed of your dolly track. So if we grab one of the tangents here and move it, you can see that the speed of the dolly increases or decreases. And the red applies that it's going very fast, and the blue is applying that it's going really slow. To apply the camera to the dolly truck, you just have to drag the camera onto the new Cine Camera rig rail, and it will automatically attach to the rig rail. And now you can drive the camera movement through the rig. We're just going to select the camera first and then reset its transforms on the X and Y axis so it's perfectly centered above the dolly. Here you can see all of its settings. So first we have the use absolute position. So if you use one of the other drive modes, which we're going to explore in just a bit, this will use the uh, absolute point position of each spline point. These values are stored in the points, and as a result, the position of the value of a given point cannot change unless you directly modify the point position. So if you keyframe a particular position to occur at a given framing, it will not change regardless of how many new points are added before or after. You can then also use current position on rail, which is a slider from 1 to 100%. If you've ever used a real dolly track or a real dolly, you would know that the pivot point is not located at the front of the camera, which is it is here in Unreal Engine. The pivot point is usually above the camera tripod head, so we're going to move the camera forward slightly to get a more realistic pan. You can toggle the show rail on and off here. And then we also have the display heat map on and off here. Below that we have the speed sample count per segment, which is basically the resolution of the sample count. Then you can lock and unlock uh, transforms and rotations on the X, Y and Z axis. And then you can also inherit the focal length, uh, aperture and focus distance based on the dolly position of the track. So this is one of my favorite new features, is that you can automate the dolly position of the track using a number of drive modes. So if you choose duration, it will complete the dolly track 
given the duration time here, regardless of how long it is. So let's say that we want to go from A to B in a period of 20 seconds. Then the uh, dolly will automatically move, uh, spreading out the speed to make sure that it completes in that time. You can also choose to have it looping or not looping, which is kind of cool. Since the camera is naturally pivoting around the bend of the dolly track, you can see that it pans kind of quickly here, which is not very pleasant. So that's why we have the empty actor, which I showed before. We can use this kind of like a camera operator that will automatically look at this actor. So let's go into this cine camera and then find the look at tracking settings. Here we will uh, enable look at the tracking and then select the actor we want to track. In this case, I've renamed my empty actor to Ari Alexa 35 Focus Tracker. And if you want, you can also have the camera automatically track the focus of this actor. It's a lot easier to move this actor around than having two different values to manipulate. So I can highly recommend a workflow like this. The other drive mode that we have at our disposal now is the speed uh, drive mode. And this will complete the track based on the input speed. Very nice. So let's change the speed to a constant speed of 5. And this will create like a kind of slow-mo matrix shot feeling. You can then of course keyframe these values in the sequencer also to get exactly the camera movement that you're looking for. And then of course we also have the old way of doing it by changing the current position of the track. So let's jump to the first frame of the track, insert a keyframe of the uh, current position on the rail at 0% and then jump to the end of the track, change the position to 100% or 1 in this case and then add a new keyframe and the dolly will move based on our keyframe speed and distance. Very nice. And I think it's a really fun way of creating cinematic shots using a dolly like this. It will make you think more like a DP and use the limitations of what a real life dolly would have instead of creating digital movements that makes no sense. And we can also drag down the empty actor that we use for focus here, then keyframe the position have the camera look at the empty actor and then let's move forward in time and change the position of the empty actor to the uh, rear of the car here and then insert a keyframe move forward in time and move our empty focused actor to the front of the car and have it transition in a really cool way. Nice. If we had more time, I would probably also add a very slight camera shake blueprint because no real life camera operator would be that good at panning and tilting at the same time. Not that I know of at least. So I hope that got you a basic understanding and overview of how to use the new Cine Camera Rig Rail in Unreal Engine 5.3. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for watching and goodbye.